Val Vicky asked if I wanted to go on a Newfie Slam, and then how can you turn down something like that? We're covered up with moose up here in Newfoundland. If we don't kill this bull now, I may not get a chance, and this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. Russ, if he comes by with, oh my God, my bull's 10 yards behind me. Oh, no. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Rough. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. And this this week's The Choice is? Newfoundland. We're going to go to Newfie, Bob Efforts. Newfie, Bob Effort. Efforts hunting, and it is, well, it's the mecca capital of moose. It's the mecca moose capital of the world. That's easy for you to say. I, no, I couldn't say they're it. They're actually, we got yeah, Joe and Russ are heading up there, and they're going for the Newfie Slam, the which Newfie is slam. woodland caribou, Canadian moose, and black bear. But You're before we go any good, further man. on that, thanks. Before we go any further, Lucky Logo this week is? Is our favorite place to shop. Shop till you drop, because it's Cabela's. There you go. At the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do that. Well, should we get going? Yeah, let's go to Newfie. Let's go see what happens in Newfie. Hmm. Hmm. Ralph Vicky asked if I wanted to go on a Newfie Slam, and uh, how can you turn down something like that? So I got a phone call from Joe, and uh, he asked me if I wanted to go to Newfoundland. And uh, I thought, man, that's a stupid question. Me and my wife actually thought about doing our honeymoon out here on a hunting trip. We were going to be trying to do the Nuki Slam. Uh, it was woodland caribou, moose, and black bear. And uh, sleep did not come easy. We've already seen three animals off on one ridge, and we're working our way up and around trying to get the wind in our favor because we're hearing some calling over on that side, but the wind was bad, so we need to get some elevation and uh, hopefully see what we're, uh, see if there's a bull with that cow we're hearing ball. Bull over there. Pretty close. 300 yards, right by camp. There's a bull between us and camp, and he's just meandering his way back and forth. So uh, he, he looks like a good bull, maybe not a great bull for the first morning. So we're gonna hang tight and maybe go work and see what's worth that cow over there. Is he worth going after? I don't think you want something bigger than that, don't you? Yeah. So we hike down around the lake, come up around the other side, downwind, and we hear this cow calling while we're eating lunch. And we knew the game's on, because right now, if you've got a cow calling, there's something coming to her or something with her. Oh, there. There's a moose. Yeah. Made it about 100 yards. I think we just got to cross this low and get up on that ridge, and they're going to be somewhere down in there. And just as we come up across this hill, here comes this bull right at us. He's coming his way. Well, we just moved in where we thought we heard that cow calling it. Right where we thought it was, here's this little bull. So I'm sure the cows are out here somewhere, but unfortunately, he's not big enough to make a move on. Russ is getting ready to pull that arrow off, and, and Glenn just starts, big bull, big bull, I'm here, I'm here. Stop, big bull, to the left. Big bull. Yep, big bull. Big bull. Is he moving in or moving out? Have him to the left. To the left, yes. Yeah, he's, 
As soon as he gets in the woods, a little further, let's just run across here. Yeah. We calculated a plan to come back around that pond. And uh, we got up that other side, and you know how it is, guys. Everything, when you're bow hunting, everything's coming together, everything's right. And next thing you know, that wind starts to swirl and hits you in the back of the neck, makes the hair stand up. You know it's not right. And lo and behold, yeah. that bull, we never saw him again. He just went down on the other side. And uh, so I was a little disappointed, but then I thought back thinking, well, it's only the first day and I wasn't too worried. We're covered up with moose up here in Newfoundland. up here in Newfoundland. Yesterday, the way we started was by climbing that huge mountain over there. Today, we're gonna go across the lake and check out a different area. I think I see some caribou. <laughs> I think I see some caribou. <laughs> While we're sitting there, Ross, man, this guy's got eagle eyes when it comes to caribou. We knew we had something we need to get a closer look at. And this time, Ross said, Joe, I'm taking the camera, get your gear, we're gonna go. We got up to where we thought they were and started nosing around, and, and sure enough, we finally saw that little bit of white and gray walking through the trees. By the look on Joe's face, I, I knew he was pretty excited, and, and we figured the, that we were gonna get her done. There they are, there's a cow. There's a cow to your right. There's the bull, the bull's right there. is absolutely insane. Glenn said, if he's like that all the way across the board, take him. If he's not, let him go, which was really hard for me to do because I had that arrow knocked. But he said, we'll beat him. Can you believe that? Bob Efford hunting adventures up here in Newfoundland. <laughs> Why did that right side have to be so small? <laughs> Why? Oh, shoot. Well, it was fun anyway, at least fun for me. Glenn's like, oh, these guys quit screwing around with these things. Let's kill something. Joe, stop whining. You know, the thing is that you wonder why aren't they going at these? Glenn, the guy, is very confident that they're going to get something better. So let's see what happens next. You got to love Luffy. Again, Glenn pulled us off. He said, you know, when you guys get to caribou camp, you're going to you're gonna see a lot better stags than that, and you're going to be happy you passed on them. Joe took his arrow off the string, put it back in the quiver, and we swapped out and got back to moose hunting. Um, bet you there's another one. <laughs> that makes it four or five bulls today and a couple of cows. It's crazy up here in Newfoundland. Now we spotted a bigger gallop on the ridge and this shooter bull just showed up. So he's working his way this way and we're gonna work our way that way and hopefully we'll get this done. Oh yeah, I see him. Should get down to those trees. So we're just getting ready again. He's our weapon. It's getting that time on where, and he's a great bull. He's coming. Oh, I can't believe he sees us. Where is he? He's looking right this way. No, I'm gonna wait. Is there one? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna wait until he turns broadside. Tell me before he Yeah. Goes. Ready? He's dead. 
We got him. We got him, buddy. He's laying right there. I reckon it was about 120, 130 yard shot. And I don't think he went 30, 40 yards. At first I thought it was a high hit, but I think he just spun him and he's right there. Page one of the Newfie Slam. And here he is. Uh, a great trophy for uh, a great Newfoundland trophy. Couldn't close the deal with the bow, but I'm more than happy to take him with the TC. It was about 120 yards shot. I'm really thankful for, uh, for the opportunity here at Efforts Hunting Adventures. I'm spending the week at Glen and spending some time with Joe in the, in the woods. And we got three more days to knock down a couple more animals. Hopefully a big uh, Newfoundland caribou and uh, some black bear. And the best thing about this trip, camp is right behind me there across the lake. Easy to get them home. He's coming right at us. Where's my hoy, man? Why did I set my hoy down? You gotta be kidding me. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. Welcome back. Wow, hey, Russ, Russ, way to go, guys. See, that's they didn't awesome. pull them off again. No, and beautiful. look what happened. Oh, nice, smooth. That's really cool. Now, what's going to happen, Glenn, they're going to start, they're going to pack it up, yeah. and they're actually going to head out now to a camp where they know are more caribou. More caribou. Even though they're okay. around, they're in the animals every day. And he day. knows where they're at. Yes, Glenn okay, knows. Okay, let's see what happens now. Ooh, mm. Woodland caribou. See you guys uh, later today or tomorrow. Yeah. All right, we're on a second leg of the journey, looking for a woodland caribou, and we got to get this thing done pretty quick because we've got bad weather coming in. This may be our only day to hunt, so let's go get it done. Yeah, I've heard about seven or eight caribou all the way out on the horizon. Looked like there was one big stag in there. We could see him with the vinyl from a long way. That's where we're figuring he's got a good set of headgear. Yeah, we gotta play catch up, but he's a long ways out. We may have actually found a bull. Glenn will let me shoot. <laughs> This isn't looking good for me. We gotta get back before dark. We're 170 yards from that bull. We got a cross one coming in. That spruce tree next to that cow is still at least 50 yards from that bull. For me to take a shot like that and heavy cross one's gonna be tough. And uh, this is my last opportunity to hunt, really. The, uh, the weather's supposed to get ugly tomorrow. If we don't kill this bull now, I may not get a chance. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. It's going to be tough to shoot with a bow. I'll follow you. Leave the bow now. Uh oh, he's getting his cows moving. He sees us. Gary, I'm going to kill you if I left my bow there for no reason. Sorry. He's got to turn broadside. Yeah. Russ, if he comes by with, oh my God, my bow's 10 yards behind me. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. Can you go get my bow? He's coming right at us. Where's my Hoyt, man? Why did I set my Hoyt down? I'm just like killing myself for not carrying it with me. Fortunately, we had Glenn watching the whole thing and he motioned to me and he was making little bow and arrow motions to me and I just nodded. And he was good enough. He snuck around, followed our trail, picked up the bow, and slid it to about three feet from within Joe. Lord. Good job, buddy. Oh. Mm. 
Glenn, thank you for getting my bow back up here. I'm speechless right now. I know that bull's dead. I know he's dead. I had that TC, which I love the TC, don't get me wrong, man, but for you people out there that bow hunt, and it's in your blood and it's in your heart, you know exactly what I'm talking about when you want it with your bow. But this is a once in a lifetime experience and the TC was gonna get me an animal that I'll never forget. But he answered my prayers. No question in my mind, he answered my prayers. We're up at Bob Efforts in Newfoundland on the Newfie Slam. Russ and I are trying to get it done. He's got his moose down. I've got my woodland caribou with my Hoyt, baby. Now we're on the black bear tomorrow and the weather's supposed to be ugly. If we wouldn't have killed the bull tonight, we may not have got a chance because this weather's supposed to turn nasty. Well, it's just an absolute dream. Efforts Hunting Adventures, the Newfie Slam. We have been covered up with game, and I'm telling you, if you want to go on a hunt of a lifetime, Efforts is guaranteed the place. By far, it's one of the best hunts of my life. I will never, ever forget this hunt. Third leg of the Newfoundland Slam, the black bears are in trouble. He's coming, he's coming fast. Third leg of the Newfoundland Slam, the black bears are in trouble. We're gonna have to move in on no. Let go, she won't get 100 yards so we can get footage. Glenn spotted this bear. Looks like a good black bear. He's out, he's right behind this tree. Okay. He's, he's coming, coming. he's coming fast. I don't want to shoot him on that rock. Let him go. Russ is on him and he's just right behind the tree for me. And as he's walking, he's getting close to being downwind. I lean the bog pot over, safety's off, crosshair hits his chest. I'm starting to squeeze the trigger. Oh, right Russ is giving me the go ahead. Wait, he just winded us. You could tell he threw his head up. He got a good scent of us and uh, whooped, he was out of there. And we could see that front that Bob was talking about moving in over the one horizon. Completing the Newfie Slam isn't going to happen now. The weather's coming in, it's ugly. So the bear hunting was done, but I'll tell you what, Bob Efford's hunting adventures here has been beyond belief when it comes to hunts. The amount of game we've seen has just been insane. When they have opportunity that often to get you on game, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's been a great week. I can't, I can't say enough about it. I'm going to be sorry to leave. Now, you know, when you bear hunt, things happen, and weather yep. can definitely mess up a hunt. And unfortunately, that last day, they didn't get to go out because the weather came in. That's it. And when you're on an island like that, weather is a, is a critical factor. They're lucky they got out of camp yep. on time. It actually is what happened. But I do have to say, Joe, good job. And Glenn, that was awesome. Wow, Getting in the boat. you talk about a guide working for this you. This lucky logo was Cabela's. Cabela's. So if you happen to see it, you need to log on to choicetv.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from, from Cabela's. Plus... A whole bunch of other stuff from our manufacturers. Next week. The kids put the smack down on the critters. It is a it's kids great. show, so, so you want the together. family watching next week's show. That's right, absolutely. We want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.